Karan ji, you are absolutely to the point. <laughs> now, who's this Karan Moy, abo, Kiran Moy Nanda? Some obscure person from West Bengal making an announcement which has no relevance. What is critical is that there is the feeling in Mulayam Singh that he's the one who's a word catcher. And this is Johnny Come Dately, who's piggy-ridden him and now is trying to assert himself. There are two statements of Mr. Mulayam Singh which are really very critical. You see, on 25th September, what does Mulayam Singh Ji say? Aklesh, agar Shifpal ko adhyaj banane se na khush hai, to ne yaad rakhna chahiye ki unhe mukhe mantri ke banane mein janta ke liye swikarita nahi thi. Lekin kyoki wo mere bete thai, is te swikare gaye, unka koi rajnetik kad nahi tha. This is as late as 25th of September. On 14th October, what does he say? He says, Mere bete, Mere naam par vote mangi gai. Lekin mene akhlesh ko CM banaya. Aane wale chunab mein CM kaun hoga? Iska fesda, jo hai, vidhaik mandal karega. Now he makes it clear. A, that I am the man. I am the vote catcher. You are a novice. You are nobody. Secondly, I am not announcing you as the chief minister. The chief minister will be announced by the party after the, this thing. And, and can I just add, Mr. Mr. Mittal, can I add, in India, in India, fathers don't treat right. their sons like this. Fathers, if anything, give their sons special unfair treatment. They don't be brutally honest about the son's incapacity. So when Mulayim is actually pointing out to his son that you are my creation, no one voted for you, he's actually suggesting that the differences between dad and son are deep and pretty close to irreconcilable. And Sanjay Mittal, Sanjay Mittal, you know, as I was one, saying, one, 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 one more thing I wish quickly, to add. Quickly, Mr. Pradhan, you quickly. Know, Go ahead. Well, well, you know, um, it's Amar Singh and not, not just Amar Singh. There are two women also involved in it. Now, Mulayam Singh's second wife, who's worried about her son's fate, Pratik's fate, political fate, because he has lots of properties. Dear Lord, and other this is becoming businesses. a bit like the but, Mahabharata. But this is where he wanted. So this she is also becoming a, a bit like the Mahabharata when the wives are involved and the wives are manipulating. Or maybe I'm talking of the Ramayan, or maybe a bit of both. When wives get into the business of manipulating their sons, stepsons, and uh, other wives' sons, the story has the dimensions yeah. of Indian mythology. It's becoming richer and richer. Absolutely. Mr. Mittal, it's not yeah. just wives. Unfortunately, it seems legislators of the Samajwadi Party are now pitching in. Today's Indian Express says that the MLC from Manpuri, a certain Udayveer Singh, has written to Mulayam Singh alleging that Shivpal and other family members have misled him, that they've hatched a conspiracy <coughs> against Akhilesh, and then worst of all, Udevir Singh has told Mulayam Singh that Akhilesh should be the national president, and Mulayam therefore presumably should give up the job he has. Now, when MLCs come into the picture like this, surely the problem is getting deeply serious. Absolutely. Karanji, there's a Hindi saying, Chaj bole so bole, ab to chalni bhi bol rahi hai. <laughs> the divide is clear. It's a vertical divide. And the reason is that as uh, their own Azam Khan said, it is a sinking ship which has a hole. Now the moment the ship has a hole and it is sinking, you are bound to face all these things. You know, if you look at the problem, you know, it all started... Uh, in somewhere 21st June, when the Komi Ekta party was sought to be merged with Sapa. Now, Akhlesh wanted his image to be larger than the image of uh, the party and he said, no, 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 I will not permit this to happen. Now, and he prevailed. So, the only way to hit back was on 15th August, Netaji hits back and says, there is a conspiracy being hatched against Shibra, uh, Shippal Yadav. And those who are con uh, conspiring must remember, Shipral agar gaye, to kahe raja hai Now, what is the way for uh, Mr. Akhlish to hit back? Baratari ko, he sacks the ministers without even consulting uh, Mr. Mulayam Singh Yadav. What does Mulayam Singh do? He appoints Shipral as president without even informing and sacks Akhlish as president. Now, so the, so the great Indian tamasha of Samajwadi party goes on. It's a, it's a comedy which goes on. And the icing in the, on the cake is when okay. Mulan Singh Ji says, no, no, I'm not announcing him as chief minister, unlike uh, in spite of what uh, Mr. Rajiv Rai may say. No, no, he's not going to be the chief minister. I will decide and the party will decide after the elections is over. 
Absolutely, what Mr. does Mr. Akhlesh Yadav do? Poor man says, okay, then I am going for my campaigning because I am seeing a vertical divide. He is saying, I am bigger than your party. You have a bad image. I am a good man. I have given good uh, governance. I have not permitted criminals to be a part of the party. I have not been corrupt, though everybody has been corrupt. I, I have sacked corrupt ministers, but you have not permitted me your, to, uh, to do that. Sahab, so what I am saying, I am not the on people. A role and I'm I making hate a distinction to interrupt between you, the but I have to this take a break. But I am going to make one little point. You were kind enough and generous enough to call the Samajwadi Party confusion a comedy. The problem is, it's probably a tragedy, not just for the family, but for the Samajwadi party. We're going to take a break and come back and ask, is this becoming a tragedy? Because it's going to have a serious impact on the party's prospects in the forthcoming UP elections, but it also could have an impact on the prospects of other parties as well. After the break, that's what we're going to look at. Let's first understand that the politics of hope and delivery has superseded the politics of caste in Indian politics. B. There are just two issues before the people of UP. One is the Gundai and the other is Drastachar. Sapa represents the Gundai and Mayavati ji is the epitome of Drastachar. Thirdly, for, for the sake of the caste dynamics, let me also tell you that there are only 136 constituencies in UP where this combination of Muslim Dalit is critical. Okay. And lastly, Rajniti mein do or do char nahi hote. Ye joh pande tere do or do char ke. God save us from these pandits. Ji, kabhi kabhi Rajniti mein do or do vice ni ban jate. Dekhan, mein aapko kheh raho ke aapke case mein do or do neither char banenge nor vice banenge. That's the problem. Oh, we've lost Mr. Bhadore at that particular moment. The screen has gone blank. You're back with us. Mr. Bhadore, let me put it like this. The question I put to Mr. Mittal suggests that there is an opportunity for your party to get the 19% Muslim vote that used to go to the Samajwadi party. But with major Brahmin and Dalit leaders deserting Mayavati and they're deserting in droves, you don't look like an alternative that the Muslims would want to vote for. So you've got an opportunity that comes from the Samajwadi party's misfortunes, but chances are that opportunity may miss you completely. You won't capitalize on it. Let me tell you from Bihar and from Delhi that it was Manji who deserted Mr. <coughs> Nitish Kumar. Here, uh, Krishna Tirath had deserted Congress and so many Aam Admi party leaders deserted the Aam Admi. But look at the but list the of people who have deserted Mayavati. Brijesh Pathak, Swami Mr. Prashad Maurya, Jugar no, Prashod, no, R.K. Chaudhary, Deena Nath Bhaskar, Jagdish no, Rana. They, they are non-entities. And let me also... No, I'm not in the dark, Karan. The only thing I was expecting you and Mr. Sudhan Sumital was making a statement about the caste politics there to ask him what was the base for Mr. Maurya and why he was brought in, how many constituencies Maurya votes are there, right. what was his consideration to make him the president. Okay, Mr. When Rai, Mr. you don't Sudhan want to defend your party, you don't Sudhan want to defend what I'm saying. Yes, instead when you Mr. want to attack Sudhan Mr. 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 Maybe Muslims, in these circumstances, uh, why, why attack is the best form of defense. Why Maybe some would say it's the only defense, defense you have, because none other looks plausible in these circumstances. I'm afraid I've run right out of time. It's been an entertaining show. It's also been a quarrelsome show. But then what else can you expect when UP politics looks like such a bright royal mess. My thanks to all my guests for joining me. And if you have the thanks for watching, goodbye, goodbye.